Friends, I'm using an iPhone tonight, not recording this very well, but I thought I'd go ahead and try to answer some questions that one of my good subscribers, a guy named CCJ Music. By the way, you should go listen to his, uh, check out his YouTube channel. He makes really great soundtracks that are pretty imaginative. He's let me use some of, of his for jams that I've done in the past. So C CCJ Music asked me about this uh, Variac standard that I featured yesterday in a video. I'm not gonna play it a whole lot tonight, just gonna answer some of his questions and talk about the guitar a little bit based on his question. Let me read you what he asks. Um, Hi, Tony, how is it powered? My old version is a pain at times to use because I have to use a different cable to hook up the power unit, et cetera, to be able to use it. That's right, you used to have to have an old power cable that would hook it up. The oh, I have one of the original ones, brother, one of the kind that has no pickups in it, it has the piezos. Uh, we'll talk about that maybe a little bit more. Uh, plus the old ones don't have magnetic pickups. They just look ugly. I agreed, I agree. You can't beat them for versatility though, true. I should hook mine up again. I do have to try to find a software online again so I can create custom sounds. I know it was hard to track it down before, but uh, it, it was installed on a PC that died uh, taking the hard drive with it. So he lost his software there for the original Variax. Unfortunately, the old models aren't compatible with the new ones. That's true. The new Variax is usually what's called Variax HD. It's a little higher definition models that they have nowadays than back in the old days, which I thought the old the old days it sounded pretty darn great. Uh, that just wasn't a real playable guitar. That's what he's talking about. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, the old models aren't compatible with the newer ones. This is true also. Uh, so you can't use them with the same software. And, and his challenge is probably true. I haven't gone and tried to find the old original Variax software in a long time. That's only important if you're gonna be editing those models. And there are reasons you might want to edit the models in the guitar. I usually don't do that. I'll explain to you how I use it more than anything. How do the models sound through a valve amp compared to a modeling amp? Just so you'll know, yesterday's video that was um, featured was played through a valve amp. It's played through a Vox AC10C1, which does have the EL84s and the AX7s and stuff built into it. This one I'm playing tonight is the uh, Black Star, and it, it is a, is a uh, digital amp. <laughs> And I'm using right now the models in the guitar. That, that's a semi hollow model right there. Let me turn it off for a second. Here the, uh, becomes noisy automatically. You hear that? That's a magnetic pickup and we got the hiss, right? You go to the semi or you go to, the, I'm like I said, you go to any of the models and since it's not using a magnetic pickup, you lose all, here's, here's a Les Paul. Sounds pretty cool. I'm not gonna get lost in playing again today and noodle endlessly. Sorry about that. I, I know I tend to do that. But this is pretty amazing. Like I say, I was showing you yesterday, if I wanted to change the tuning, if I wanted this to be a drop, a, tr a drop D tune or whatever, I could do. Uh, do like some like fat bottom girls which we do in the band that's one of the songs we do with a drop drop tuning but what makes this super great for me uh, is the fact i can use it with the helix and i can make that helix i can just go into the hx edit not the variax software which i do have that software the hd where you can go and you change the pickups and stuff in the models like you can take with that software you can create impossible guitars you can take a strap and put a p90 in this position, or you take a lipstick tele pickup and put it on a Les Paul. And you know, what would it sound like when, instead of a 25.5 inch scale with a lip with a tele pickup? What would that sound like on a 24.75 inch scale on a Les Paul or on a SG? And so, you're able to make the impossible guitars with that. I don't typically do that, I just I use my Helix, hook it up, I use HX Edit to uh, select what kind of guitar I'm going to use, whether it's going to be just a regular old guitar or a Variax, or you, if you've got a, a in, in HX head, you've got an option for a guitar and Variax combined, which means if you plug your regular uh, magnetic pickup guitar into it, it's gonna use all the effects, but whatever you assign to a Variax, it won't do. But if you plug a Variax into it, then you are able to uh, do the alternate tunings and like say, do individual string volume. Uh, you, you can change the models in the middle of the song 
He could be playing a song uh, that's got a, a Les Paul or whatever on it. Step on a button, change a scene or a, uh, what do they call them, a uh, snapshot on the Helix. And all of a sudden you're playing an acoustic guitar. You got a Les Paul with, some, with a green box uh, for distortion. And you step on it and you got a clean acoustic going through a compressor or something like that. Crazy that you're able to do that and do it within within a song because you have eight different snapshots that you got for each patch on a Helix. I, I'll do another video that shows how it integrates with the software. But for the live musician, you're able to stand up there, switch guitars immediately without having to take your guitar on and off and you know and worry about knocking your uh, in ears out of out of whack. So how is it powered was one of your questions. Let me go ahead and turn this volume down for a minute. And it's powered with this battery back here in the back. And you, you can real easily pull it out. It's a little stiff, but you just pull down with your thumb, pull out the battery, and there you go. And, that, and this battery will last, they claim about nine hours. I've never pushed it that far, you know. And you see how you see here, I've got four back, four, that came up four on the thing, which shows me here, I'll click that again. You can see I've got, I'm indicating that my battery is full. I keep the batteries charged with this little charger thing that they give you. There it is. And of course you plug it up that way. And then you're able to keep your battery charged. But if you're hooked up to the Helix, again, the beautiful thing is you hook your Helix up to it using this port here. Right now I've got it come out just the quarter inch, but you got this kind of port right here, which has a, you've got a, um, this is basically an ethernet cable that goes in this hole right here go into your helix and then your helix powers the guitar you don't ever have to worry about the battery running out i keep the battery in as a backup i don't even know why i guess it's because maybe i want to plug it into a, a, a straight into an amp instead of that's what i'm doing tonight plugging straight into an amp but when i'm out playing live in my band now i've got i'm powering the whole thing with the helix through the ethernet cable and by the way you can use kind of an old crammy ethernet cable. Any of them will work. I did buy, I think for like 25 bucks, one of the nice professional uh, Line 6 cables, which is very nice. It's, it's like a guitar cable. It's super reinforced, so you're not gonna like break it or whatever. It's like, I think it's a 20 foot cable. So I can actually get out with my ethernet cable hooked up and walk around. Now the thing I can't do is use a, uh, a wireless but that's okay. I, I don't have to use a wireless. I'm not one of these guys that's going to run this, run the stage and up and down the aisles. I pretty much stand like the Bill Wyman of my of my band. I kind of stand in one place and do my do my thing. But yeah, so as you were just hearing me to go, I think it sounds great through a uh, you know through a. through a uh, digital lamp just as well as I do through a. Uh, through a valve amp. Let me change that tuning back. Now I got my G strings back. As far as the software goes, I do have Variax HD on there and I have messed around with it and monkeyed around with some of the sounds. I know that, like I was telling you about the guy Chad Husky that I recommended yesterday that you listen to if you want to learn a bit more about the Variax. Chad has done some great alterations to his acoustic guitars to make them sound even better. Just to EQ and everything through Variax Workbench. I just typically don't do it. I've just been using the models that are in here. If I know if I've got a song that needs a strap, I pick a strap. If I've got a song that needs a telly, I pick a telly. A song that needs an SG, I pick an SG. If I need a J45 or a D18 guitar, then that's in here. If I need a 12 string, fine. Uh, so all those uh, things I'm able to control just without even using the HD version of the Variax editor just use the Helix software itself, and I can call up the models, change the tunings, uh, change, let's just say, change, create custom tunings that aren't even in here. Uh, like I say, going from patch to patch, or even within the patch, going from scene to scene, which is called snapshots on the Helix. I can, I can switch from a Strat to a Les Paul to a acoustic guitar, all in the same song. Sitar, whatever I want, Dobro, 
It's insane. It's really cool for a working musician that doesn't want to be switching guitars, doesn't want to get, like I said, get entangled up in your in-ears, and you got limited space on the stage for a whole bunch of pedals, and got, you don't have room to have you know, 15 guitars lined up. I've never gone out gigging with more than three guitars. Even back in the old days, I'd take a Strat, a Tele, and a Les Paul. Those, you know, usually I've got an American, I got in the old days, I say old days, I haven't been in the band 12 years, now I'm back out gigging again, which is it's challenging, challenging for an older guy. But uh, uh, back when I used to gig all the time, I would take out an American Tele, a Mexican Strat that I had, I call it the Heap and Helping Strat, you may have seen it on my channel before, and I would take out a Washburn Les Paul, which still to this day sounds more like a Les Paul to me than all the new ones that Gibson put out. But now I take out this and, or the JTV-59. Uh, listen, you're right. The, the, the older guitar sounds really great. It sounds, in my opinion, pretty close to what this one sounds like and the other ones. There, there is a little more definition. I think a little crisper sounds and stuff using the Variax HD for the new Variaxes uh, you know, to create your sounds. But the old one, my old one, I still plug it in now and again. It sounds pretty cool. It just has that really thick kind of neck. It, it is not a pretty guitar. This one is a, is a fairly handsome guitar. It looks like a Strat, doesn't it? The JTV 59 looks a lot like a Les Paul. It's a beautiful and super superbly playable guitar. So I'm taking out one, like I say yesterday, the Charvel, which is fully magnetic, splendid guitar. If I know I'm not gonna be doing alternate tunings and and you know strange weirdness like that or need exotic type sounds that I'm gonna play that guitar most of the time because it's the best guitar that I own. But then the rest of the, like I play two sets, our final two sets that we play, 24 songs, probably a third of them require alternate tunings, drop tunings, uh, and you know, some, some trickery that goes on, you know, uh, uh, it was like if we do fool around and fell in love, I do the swells and stuff, not with a volume. I've got the, the Helix program to do the swells and stuff for me when I do the little guitar intros. Lots of, like I say, cool little tricks that I'm using. Yeah, we're gonna be doing Boys Are Back in Town. I'll probably do some, uh, you know, bolster some of my harmony by using harmonies on the Helix and stuff. So um, more more to come on that front. But anyway, there you go. I hope I've answered your questions. Uh, that's how you that's how you power it. Uh, sounds great whether you're playing it through a tube amp or a digital amp and the software, I don't even know if I could still find the old version of Variax Workbench for the standard. Would be nice to know. I would like to go in and make sure I got the very latest firmware for that guitar. But basically, this is the, this guitar is the one that's going to be used. This one and the JTV-59 and the Guthrie Govan Charvel. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like. If you have any more additional questions, let me know. Thank you.